The world lost a legend when Tejano singer Selena was killed in 1995. Selena Quintanilla Perez was considered one of the first crossover pop stars of her generation. She became famous through her Spanish-language songs and her popularization of Tejano music. Her career began after her father formed a band with Selena as the lead singer and her siblings playing instruments when they were still young children. It took a while before the group found success. First, the siblings played street corners, local events, and state fairs around Corpus Christi, Texas. Selena didn't grow up speaking Spanish. At first, she learned the Spanish lyrics phonetically, but eventually became fluent, and people around Texas grew to love the singer and her band. Soon, they were selling out concerts. She was just an amazing energy to be around. However, it quickly became evident that Selena was the group's breakout star. With her father Abraham as manager and brother A.B. as producer, she signed a record deal with EMI and eventually released some songs in English. She also won a Latin Grammy. She married her bandmate Chris Perez in 1992, initially against her family's wishes. Their relationship was the stuff of telenovelas, as initially they tried to stay away from each other, but to no avail. Selena eventually began recording her first English album and started a clothing line. Her career was a success until the president of her fan club, Yolanda Saldivar, shot and killed her in 1995 to cover up embezzlement. Selena was just 23 years old. After Selena's tragic death, things got complicated. Understandably, her unexpected death would make dividing up her assets that's a little complicated. Her father and brother were deeply involved in her career, and yet she was married, and her husband rightfully had some say in her fortune and legacy. Rolling Stone explained that Selena did not leave a will before she died. After all, she was only 23 years old when she was murdered. Initially, this meant her husband Perez stood to inherit everything. But Perez said the days after Selena's death were hard, and the last thing he thought about was his late wife's estate. Perez admitted he allowed his father-in-law to take care of everything. According to Rolling Stone, Abraham Quintanilla quickly hired a lawyer within two months of Selena's death to set up an entertainment deal to help manage his daughter's legacy. During this time, Perez did not have any legal representation and trusted his in-laws to do the right thing. Billboard explained that under the deal, Selena's entertainment property and all of the profits from the sales of her songs and image would be divided among the entire family. Perez, who would have gotten everything, was granted a 25% share of his wife's wealth. This was the same percentage Selena received when she was alive. This allowed her family to retain much of the rights to Selena's life story and music, preventing Perez from even being involved in retelling his and his wife's love story. The 1997 biopic Selena, starring Jennifer Lopez, was made. But Forbes reported that the Quintanillas, led by Selena's father, filed a lawsuit preventing Perez from making a TV show based on his book, To Selena With Love. The book told their love story from his perspective. However, the lawsuit alleged Perez violated the estate agreement on Selena's work by attempting to produce a show and write a book without the Quintanilla's involvement. Perez countersued but lost his appeal in 2017. Perez claimed that he signed the agreement under duress, but according to Billboard, the Quintanillas had paid Perez over $3 million in the years since Selena's death, money he continued to accept. In the years since Selena's death, her father gained a reputation for aggressively policing his late daughter's image. He reportedly went after Selena impersonators, sent cease and desist letters to tribute bands, and even once stormed into a radio studio where an author who had written a book on Selena was being interviewed. The legal battle between Perez and his in-laws continues. Meanwhile, Netflix premiered Selena the series in 2020. Many fans told Rolling Stone that they felt the show portrayed Selena in a different light, as if it had been controlled by her father. The singer's husband, Perez, was not involved with the show, but the Quintanillas were consulted. In other words, even if it was supposed to be handled equally, the bulk of Selena's money is still controlled by her father. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.